personal best, he's in the conversation for a medal. Oh, that's big. Yes. On October 5th of 2019, one of the greatest competitions in sporting history took place. In the World Track and Field Championships in Doha, Qatar, three men of truly Herculean status would accomplish something so incredible that it has since been labeled as the most shocking and most significant showdown in the history of the event, with no other competition even coming close. In the men's shot put finals, Joe Kovacs, Tom Walsh, and Ryan Krauser entered these championships as the three heavy favorites to bring home medals. And even though expectations were very high for these athletes, their final performances would still blow everyone in the entire world out of the water. Building up to this competition, this triple threat had easily been three of the most powerful and successful shot put athletes over the previous decade, with their top performances ranking 1, 2, and 3 since the 2004 Olympic Games. In addition to actually throwing the shot put farther than anyone else during this time, these three had also managed to win the previous three global titles, with Joe Kovacs winning in 2015, Ryan Krauser winning in 2016, and Tom Walsh winning in 2017. Right from the start of this legendary matchup, history was already made in the first round, as Ryan Krauser broke the world championship record with his very first throw. With a massive heave of 22.36 meters, Krauser very well could have already clinched this title with one single throw, but then against all odds, this happened. Big roll. Oh my goodness me, that's huge! That is absolutely massive from Tom Walsh. With an enormous throw of 22.90 meters, Tom Walsh had laid down a nearly impossible standard for anyone else in the field to eclipse. Even while wearing sweatpants, Walsh's catapult-like throw that went just past the 75-foot mark was an absolutely astonishing feat that was far beyond anyone else's personal best at the time. Already in the opening round, the world championship record had been bettered on two separate throws, and at 22.90 meters, Tom Walsh now found himself as the fourth farthest thrower in history, just barely falling behind three athletes who had all been found on at least one occasion to have used performance-enhancing drugs. Suffice it to say, this one throw was historic, and even though the other athletes tried their best to match this mark, it was simply impossible to hit a throw of 22.90 meters. For the following five rounds, Krauser got reasonably close with a distance of 22.71 in round four. However, for Joe Kovacs, his best mark heading into the final round was only 21.95 meters, almost a full meter behind Tom Walsh. As the athletes headed into round six, the odds of Walsh maintaining his lead and winning the World Championship gold were close to 100%, especially given that his rivals had never thrown anywhere close to 22.9. However, in one of the most unbelievable moments in track and field history, Joe Kovacs from the United States did this. For a medal. Oh, that's big! Yes! Kovacs! has announced his presence here. With an almost surreal-like throw of 22.91 meters, Joe Kovacs had just taken the lead from Tom Walsh by just one single centimeter. This simply had to be the most shocking moment of these world championships. However, to add even more drama to these proceedings, just a few minutes later, this happened. Surely he can't produce one of the best in history, can he? Oh my goodness me! This is incredible! Unprecedented strength and depth here in the shot put. The Olympic champion has saved his best to last. With an identical distance of 22.90 meters, Ryan Krauser had just tied Tom Walsh for second place. But given that Walsh had more fouls in this competition up to this point, Ryan Krauser now found himself in second place incredibly pushing Walsh into the bronze medal position over this final round. The odds of something like this happening in the final round were unfathomable. 
For these final throws, Joe Kovacs and Ryan Krauser dethroned the almost guaranteed world champion, and given these miraculous circumstances, this competition has since been called the definitive moment of the men's shot put. After this historic battle in 2019, the fast approaching Tokyo Olympics looked as though it would be one of the most competitive and high performing competitions in any global event. And while there would be many tremendous talents who would emerge as world class competitors, one single athlete would ultimately rise as quite possibly the most dominant name in shot putting history. This is the meteoric rise of Ryan Krauser. After placing second by just one centimeter in the 2019 World Championships, Krauser would go on one of the most untouchable winning streaks in track and field history. For his very first competition in 2020, he fulfilled a dominant indoor victory, hitting a distance of 22.19 meters. This achievement was swiftly followed by yet another dominant win, where Krauser hit a throw of 22.60 meters, falling only 0.06 meters short of the indoor world record of Randy Barnes. Given his opening few victories, 2020 was looking as though it would be Krauser's greatest season ever. Even in the early season, he was already hitting distances that only a very select few had ever attained. And even though COVID-19 and new competition protocols threw a giant wrench into many athlete schedules just one year ago, there was simply nothing that would prevent Krauser from winning each and every competition he entered in 2020. This 2020 season marked a huge improvement for this tall and powerful American athlete. And coincidentally, on July 18th, he achieved a new personal best of 22.91, the exact same distance that Joe Kovacs had thrown just one year earlier to win the World Championships. This pandemic year was a true testament to Krauser's fitness, as he not only went undefeated, but he threw over 22 meters in all but one of his competitions. Combined with his ferocious competition abilities and his impeccable shot-putting skill set, he was unquestionably the athlete to beat heading into 2021. But even against the highest possible expectations, Ryan Krauser's 2021 season was far and away the single greatest year in shot putting history. It's July 11th of 2009. On a hot, humid day in Bressanone, Italy, a 16-year-old Ryan Krauser placed first in the World Youth Championships, throwing the 5-kilogram shot put an impressive distance of 21.56 meters. This mark broke the previous World Youth Championship record, and for Ryan Krauser, his career as a track and field superstar was just getting started. For the remainder of his high school years, Krauser's performances were marked by untouchable distances, not just in the shot put, but also in the men's discus. For his senior year, he broke the national indoor record for the shot put, hitting a distance of 77 feet and 2 and 3 quarter inches. However, he also managed to break the outdoor national record for the discus, hitting a pretty ridiculous distance of 237 feet and 6 inches, which translates to 72.40 meters. The fact that Krauser was so talented and so impeccably gifted in the shot put was already incredible enough, but to hold such high-ranking placements in both throwing events was almost unheard of. Unlike other events in track and field, the discus and the shot put pretty much require full investment in order to see world-class results, but somehow, with a brilliant combination of power and athletic prowess, Krauser found himself on the highest positions in each of these events. After obliterating his high school competition, Krauser's next step was at the University of Texas on a throwing scholarship, and even though his shot-putting and discus genius seemed to be well on his way to world championship and Olympic glory, his collegiate experience would get off to a rather rocky start. For his freshman season, his performances were severely hindered due to a hand injury he sustained during his indoor season. This athletic setback kept Krauser away from his competitions for much of his 2012 season, and although he managed to come back for the NCAA Championships, he was only able to play 16th in his very first collegiate final. This low placement was certainly not what Krauser had in mind for his freshman year at Texas. But from this point forward, 
His success in the shot put was historic, as he won each NCAA title moving forward, except in 2015 where he sustained another injury to his hand, and even for this championship, he still managed to place fifth despite his aggravated hand injury. Moving into 2016, Krauser's abilities were rapidly improving, and even though his personal best heading into the Rio Olympics was only 22.11, he pulled out one of the greatest upsets of the Rio games, shocking the world with a dominant gold medal performance of 22.52 meters. At 25 years of age, Krauser pulled out one of the most shocking and downright dominating performances in global shot putting history, winning the Rio Olympics by a margin of 0.74 meters. And wouldn't you know it, the silver and bronze medal winners from this competition were none other than Joe Kovacs and Tom Walsh. Since the Rio Games, Krauser's stature in the shot putting world has steadily been growing, reaching historic distances for each of his previous few seasons. But regardless of what he did from 2016 through 2020, his 2021 campaign was, to put it lightly, absolutely insane. To kick off his 2021 campaign, Krauser pulled out a dominant world record performance on January 24th in Fayetteville, Arkansas. With a throw of 22.82 meters, he broke the previous world record of Randy Barnes that had stood since 1989. This indoor record was a huge springboard for Krauser moving forward, and for his following 13 competitions, including the postponed Tokyo Olympics, his throwing abilities were easily the greatest of all time. Now, you might be surprised to hear this, but it's undeniably true, and that's that world-class shot putters are easily some of the most gifted all-around athletes in the world. With a quick glance, pure power seems to be the only asset required to find success in this event. But if you fall into the category of thinking this, you could not be farther away from the truth. In order to be competitive in the world rankings in the men's shot put, you need incredible balance, impeccable athletic timing, perfectly calculated strength, and an instantaneous explosion of all of these previous categories combined into one perfect moment of volcanic proportions. At 6 feet tall and 295 pounds, Joe Kovacs uses his more compact and powerful frame to create a spring-like bouncing effect into his throws. But for Ryan Krauser, who measures in at 6 foot 7 and 320 pounds, his smooth, elegant, and expertly executed rhythm makes his tall but pristine throwing a true work of art. With so much height and so much pure power, the biggest challenge for any shot putter is answering the question of how can you find the most efficient and economical use of your strength in a circle that only measures seven feet in diameter. For Krauser, his athletic talents reach far beyond just his lifting abilities. Yes, he can bench press over 500 pounds, and yes, he can squat close to 800 pounds, but did you know that he also has a vertical leap of close to 37 inches, and that he can also run a 40-yard dash in 4.80 seconds? Another amazing feat achieved by Krauser was a standing long jump test, where he hit a distance of 3.23 meters, which if we go all the way back to the 1900 Olympic Games, this distance would have been far enough to win the Olympic gold medal against anyone else in the world. This remarkable combination of balance, speed, power, and grace is only attained by a very select few. And finally, on June 18th of 2021, Krauser achieved an almost perfect throw where all of his incredible athletic abilities were close to perfectly optimized. Just two months before the Olympic Games in Tokyo, Japan, Krauser entered the 2021 United States Trials as the heavy favorite to walk away with the title. Before this competition, his season's best was an amazing distance of 23.01 meters. However, even against this world-class standard, he set an absolutely legendary personal best, destroying the previous world record with a throw of 23.37 meters, improving on the world record of Randy Barnes by 0.25 meters. Krauser at this point in 2021 was almost guaranteed the Olympic gold medal in Tokyo, and with one of the most iconic performances of all time, he achieved something so amazing that it's almost guaranteed that it will never ever happen again. Right from the very beginning of this Olympic final, Krauser asserted his dominance to an untouchable level. 
For his opening round, he hit a mark of 22.83 meters, which would already prove to be far enough to win the Olympic gold in this competition. But then, over the following five rounds, Ryan Krauser made history. In the second round, he hit a distance of 22.93. In the third round, he hit a mark of 22.86. In the fourth round, he only continued his dominance with a distance of 22.74. In the fifth round, he again reached a huge mark of 22.58. However, in the sixth and final round, the beast was awoken, and Krauser's true abilities were at long last unleashed. For his opening five throws, Krauser, for one reason or another, left his hat on his head. But for his final throw here, his hat was now off. And this could only mean one thing, that Ryan freaking Krauser was about to once again make history. With a gargantuan final effort of 23.30 meters, he absolutely annihilated his own Olympic record by 0.78 meters, and he also managed to beat the next closest athlete by 0.65 meters. This record-breaking performance was absolutely iconic, but what really made this 2021 Olympic standard so unbelievably memorable is that for each and every round of this Olympic final, Krauser managed to take down the previous Olympic record for every single one of his throws. And from my personal perspective, it is easy to say that this historic achievement will never ever happen again.